2. Fizzy drinks a week increases risk of diabetes, heart disease and stroke. 2. Cans of fizzy pop a week is enough to increase the risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease and stroke, warns new research. The study suggests drinking more than 2 sugar sweetened drinks a week increased the risk of type 2 diabetes, while just one was enough to raise blood pressure. Researchers say the drinks are energy dense and their consumption has been associated with excessive caloric intake and subsequent weight gain. The review, led by Stellenbosch University in South Africa, evaluated 36 academic studies of people who drank more than five sugar-sweetened drinks a week. Lead author Professor Fadi Lesop said, sugar-sweetened beverage consumption is steadily rising among all age groups worldwide. Our analysis revealed that most epidemiological studies strongly show that frequent intake of these beverages contributes to the onset of the metabolic syndrome, diabetes and hypertension. Although there were some studies with negative or neutral findings, most of the studies supported a link between sugar-sweetened beverage consumption and the risk of developing the metabolic syndrome. Studies on diet and diabetes revealed consuming as few as two servings of sugar-sweetened beverages a week was linked to an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Several of the analyzed studies found drinking at least one sugar-sweetened beverage a day was associated with elevated blood pressure. The increasing levels of poor heart health were linked to greater urbanization and sedentary lifestyles associated with city living. Professor Esso added, excess sugar consumption has surfaced as one of the most prominent global dietary changes during the past few decades and is considered a primary driver of cardiometabolic diseases onset. The findings demonstrate there is a clear need for public education about the harmful effects of excess consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages. The study was published in the Journal of the Endocrine Society.